to my channel. Today, as you can see from the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got for back to uni. So this is an exciting, highly requested video. I'm Louisa, I post lifestyle, personal, and sometimes beauty content. So hit the subscribe button down below if you're into that and if you want to see more. I put up on my Instagram story whether you guys wanted to see a summer realistic morning routine or a back to school shopping. More of you wanted to see back to school shopping first. So here it is. But I am definitely going to be uploading my realistic summer morning routine anyways, which I have filmed today. I am currently 19 years old. I'm turning 20 in October. I don't feel like I'm 20. I know I'm still 19, but I just don't feel like it. I'm trying to boss up. I'm trying to make myself feel more like 20. I'm going to my very first year of university. I took a gap year, 2020 and the beginning of 2021 has been hectic. There has been a lot of ups and downs. So here I am going into my first year of university. I am mostly excited about it, but I am a little bit nervous because it's something outside my comfort zone. I'm gonna be living with people that I've never met before and I'm sure other people feel the same. I'm moving out of my family, it's just a completely different environment and I've never lived with people before so I am a bit nervous about that and I am looking forward to starting uni and definitely posting uni vlogs so definitely look out for that. Me and my family went shopping as I start uni in September 20th. If you're going back to school you can use this video to give you some guidance or some inspiration for what to get. Today I filmed some footage of going on this shopping trip to Sainsbury's and TK Maxx. I'll insert the footage here so this is kind of intertwined with a mini vlog. first thing I got. These are the Stay Below Pasta Highlighters. I also included some older stuff that I have bought a few years ago when I went to sixth form college that I'm definitely going to be bringing to uni that saves money. The second thing I got are these very tall notepad 100 pages. These are to-do lists and it says happiness is checking things off. It has a magnet at the back. Now the reason why I got this was because I live on to-do lists. Sorry I can't <laughs> Helps me get things done is when I have to-do lists. I got this from Sainsbury's, the stationery section. This is just a collection of coloured sticky notes, great for labelling notebooks, reminders, all of that. But yeah, here they are. I got this from works.co.uk shop. It's this A5 clear document wallet. The thing is, I was looking for a pencil case, but I actually couldn't find one that I really liked. I actually had one for sixth form college and I thought maybe I'll just use that one instead of buying a new one. But I got this from New Look actually from the stationery section and I love how pretty and aesthetically pleasing it looks. This is what it looks like inside, but it is a bit old. I was thinking of using one of these wallets as kind of like a transparent pencil case. Very boring, but I got a pack of hair bands. I got a pack of five pens from Sainsbury's and it's a classic ballpoint stylo and it's black, which is good. So I personally prefer black pens. This is an A4 refill pad and it's an eco-friendly notebook lined pages made from recycled paper and i got this from the sainsbury's stationery section for a lot of the time i did use notebooks to write my notes in but i was like i'm not going to care too much about how pretty this the a4 notebook is going to look like so it's just an a4 pad and i really like it like i like 
the cover of it i like how it's eco-friendly also forgot to tell you guys how much they are so this was two pounds i can't remember everything like how much they all are this was three pounds i don't know how much this was this was two pounds and this was one pound fifty and then obviously this was one pound also when i do shopping i like to take my time i'm excited to be getting back to studying and going to school even though that may sound boring but literally i've taken a gap year out and i haven't been to school in a year so it feels nice to go back having had taken that break this is like probably my favorite product that i got from this shopping but i got this from tk maxx it's this gorgeous a5 ish notebook I've had diaries and planners to keep myself organized and i really like the look and the layout of the front cover it was six pounds pastel pink is my favorite color you know i have a blog by the way so you guys can check that out i have some interesting content and writing published and then it just says notes in this lovely font in rose gold and it has this marble background so this really just kind of reflects me as a person it has lined paper it has a pocket here so you can put like your notes i think i'm just going to use this for maybe extra to-do lists writing down ideas for youtube and for blogging now this is older i'm actually going to bring this marble notebook to university i'm going to use it as like a laptop mouse pad it's all used up it's older i used to write and i used to do my gratitude my affirmations my planning in them when i was 17 years old i also included clothes in this back to uni shopping haul i'm not going to include the shoes i got i did get two pairs of shoes they're both black before i get into the clothes I'm going to show you the things that I got in the past that I used during sixth form college that I'm going to use for university. And like, you don't have to buy everything new if you're going back to school or university. Like, you can use some of the things you've already bought or have gotten before in the past if it's still okay. I got this plastic wallet. I used this for A level photography and found it the most difficult and most challenging subjects i think i've learned a lot from a level photography so i'm going to be using this to store notes in and i used this cute a5 pink wallet for a level sociology but yeah now i also have this other wallet this plastic transparent a4 wallet and now same with this i really like wallets this one this is transparent just opens up like this you can tell that it's used by looking at it i got this pink envelope as well same thing and now this is like one of my favorite things but it's this expanding organizer that i use during sixth form and it was so useful for a level sociology because we had so much content well, i had so much content like there was so much to revise and to learn from but this is what it looks like like it just opens up like this so this is good for office work like this i highly recommend i can't remember how much it was but it is good and then i obviously got this other plastic wallet i have my old cv in here when i was applying to part-time job yeah i got this plastic wallet yeah those are the stationery covered and now i'm gonna move on to the clothing surprisingly sainsbury's have good clothing i'm just going to start off with one of the things that i'm wearing but i got some gray bicycle shorts i'm going to stand up because you can't really see me and i felt like they'll be good for fitness for exercise and for fashion yeah like i just really like gray like my lash bed has a gray blanket my curtains are gray my laundry basket is gray I got this hoodie from Sainsbury's and it's just quite chill like obviously I have been getting clothes for going back to uni and then I got these leggings from Sainsbury's they're good for fitness for going to the gym for running I wouldn't use them for lounging in 
and then I got another pair of black leggings these were from select I definitely recommend select because they have such affordable clothes and shoes but they're good quality as well so I got these ones this pair of leggings was eight pounds whereas this is slightly more expensive it's like 12 pounds um some of the leggings i had had holes in them or they got worn out and now before i got these two leggings i think i only had two leggings that i've kept so now i have four pairs this is a jacket that we got from sainsbury's and it's this stone jacket this is great for autumn and winter and it is waterproof so yeah so we got this blush tuft spot bed sheet bed set so this is a pillowcase and a double duvet cover in this pack um it's polka dot and i do i quite like the pattern and the color of it the last thing is this waterproof mattress protector again from sainsbury's i didn't think that i needed this as uh, they didn't have that in the accommodation brief list probably very boring for you guys stationary like my favorite part of this video so yeah that is it thank you so much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed it if you did give this a thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below my realistic summer morning routine is going to be uploaded in two days time so definitely tune in for that it's going to be a more realistic behind the scenes video like this is not intended to make you feel like you don't have enough things i am working on being grateful for things that i already have this is for inspiration this is for inspirational purposes and if you're going back to school you can use this as some guidance so have a lovely day and thank you for all the new subscribers support and love and i'll see you in my next vlog and video bye guys